All right, it's time to get started. Hello and welcome to Accidental Origin Episode 1. Hi, my name is Brendan, and I'm a writer. If uh, you couldn't tell by my overly ridiculous use of hashtags, um, and this is the first episode of my show. So, hi, hello, how goes it? <laughs> uh, just working through the nerves, as it were. Um, but yeah, um, so this is Accidental Origin. Uh, a little bit about myself. Uh, I'm 24 years old, Irish Canadian. Um, I started writing when I was 12 years old. Um, audio problems? Alright, let me... Let me just double check my audio here. Oh, I, I hear myself. I hear myself. Oh, <laughs> oh, my bad. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um. So yeah, sorry. This yeah, getting used to it. Total interruption. Ridiculous. I'm like five minutes into the stream. Okay, so uh, a little bit about myself. I'm 24. I'm Irish Canadian. Uh, I started writing when I was 12 years old. Uh, after seeing one of my cousins uh, when she came to visit, uh, when when she came to visit, she uh, she showed me a novel she was working on, and um, it was the first time I'd kind of been confronted with the idea that that's something someone could do, um, just anybody could do. Uh, not that she's just anyone or anything, but but that that I could do it. And up to that point, I'd been pretty pretty voracious, voracious reader. Uh, so, yeah, it, I, I read read a ton, and I was reading well past my age up to that point and all that stuff, and it was the first kind of moment where I was like, hey, that that's something I could do. And, uh, yeah, so the first thing I ever wrote, uh, and this is always embarrassing to admit, but um, the first thing I ever wrote was fan fiction. Uh, I had a story that was approximately five, ten thousand words. Uh, published it a couple times over a spit, or probably probably about five chapters over a span of about four or five months, and uh, I can't remember for the life of me what I called it or where I posted it uh, but I definitely remember the idea and um, I'm still kind of developing it as a comic book uh, as an original comic book not as a fan fiction uh, kind of like changed a lot of stuff and re rebuilt it from the ground up in, in a lot of ways uh, so that's where I got my start um, I took uh, a lot of English courses in high school uh, including English Lit uh, just general English and uh, creative writing, uh, so I did a lot of that. Uh, I applied to get into a writing art school uh, at one point, and I did get in, uh, but I couldn't go because it was way too far from my house, uh, so there was no way of me really getting there uh, properly. Like, I'd miss a lot of class and stuff if I missed the bus, and I probably was going to miss the bus, and there was a ton of poetry, which... Maybe in hindsight, probably would have been super beneficial, but I wasn't super into it at the time. Um, right now, I'm I'm pretty awful at poetry, and I probably always will be. It's not really my strength. So uh, there's totally that. Uh, and then uh, in university, I wrote for uh, the school paper, uh, York's Excalibur, uh, which is a really awesome newspaper. I did a lot of stuff with them. I was a staff writer for two years. Um, and then uh, I went on to college, and I studied screenwriting at college for a year. Uh, fortunately, uh, 
my life took a lot of twists and turns, so I didn't graduate. Uh, but that's okay. That's okay. It was there's a lot of decisions there, and I don't regret any of those decisions. Um, I'm much much happier and much healthier not being in school. Uh, but you know, those are the breaks, right? So, um, yeah, and and that had nothing to do with writing or or my enjoyment or any of that stuff. Uh, so I continue to do that that to this day and and right now I work full time uh retail and uh I write pretty much every day. Uh I try to write every day and and it's going pretty well for me right now. So yeah. Um that's who I am. That's who I am. I I love visual storytelling. Uh I study screenwriting obviously. Uh I love comic books. Uh, I love manga. Um, I I am really interested in in that kind of storytelling and that kind of writing. Uh, so we will probably be doing some of that. Um, not to start, but uh, eventually we will get into some of that stuff. And uh, I'm hoping it's gonna be awesome. Uh, I think it'll be awesome. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah. So the first question uh, that I'm probably going to get asked here by anyone who isn't one of my friends uh, is that, you know, what is an accidental origin? What does that mean? Uh, why is that important? You know, what, what is it all about? So, uh, to start... Uh, it's it's actually a play on the trope of uh, the trope of uh, a freak lab accident, uh, which is a superhero trope, um, and uh, it's kind of the idea of something, some catastrophe happening, and it causing. Uh, some sort of origin story. Uh, so, <clears throat> you know, the, the big examples for me are uh, Spider-Man. You know, he's, he attends this event and this spider drops down and bites him. And that get what's given him his powers. Totally on accident. Like, he had nothing to do with it. It wasn't delivered on his part. It wasn't delivered on anyone's part. Though, when you read some of the other revamp uh, retellings of the story, they do imply some other things about that. But, um, but yeah, like, that, that sort of accidental origin, you know. Uh, it, it, it's that change in the status quo that takes someone from an idle passerby to becoming the hero... Of, of, of a story to go down the path of the hero's journey um, and that's that's an important idea um, in storytelling uh, the idea of the hero's journey and that sort of inciting incident that causes them to causes this the status quo to change and 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 forces them to do something to to want something or do something or need something uh, that really pushes them to be to be something that they're not at the at the current moment, um, and uh, as heavily influenced by comics as I am, and, and, and how interested I am in visual storytelling, um, that's going to come up a lot. Uh, the idea of comics and. And, and comic sort of influence, uh, though it does apply to a, a lot of other things. Um, I mean, uh, talk about, uh, let's say, let's, oh, here's a great example. Odysseus. Odysseus, when he's on the Odyssey. You know, he's coming back from, he's coming back from the sacking of Troy, and he gets lost. He gets lost, and, and, and suddenly everything is different. His story is, is different. And that difference is what makes that story 
interesting, right? We knew Odysseus was this awesome, awesome guy, and he was very smart, and he came up with the idea for the Trojan horse and, and all this cool stuff, but that that sort of getting lost and forcing him through all those uh, all those trials and tribulations so he can get back home, like that's what makes him real, like a real important literary figure for us. Um, and, and yeah, he you know total accidental origin, right? He didn't deliberately get lost. It just it just happened. And, and it, it causes it caused those changes. Um, so I, I hope that was a pretty clear explanation. But <laughs> if if anyone does want me to re reiterate, I certainly can. Um, so the second question uh, that that I think people are going to ask is uh, why start a web show? Yeah, you're a writer, and yeah, you do all this stuff, but why Why a web show? Why broadcast on Twitch? Why, why are you doing this? Um, so, for me, um, I have actually been spending a lot of time in Twitch Creative lately. Uh, I watch a lot of artists. Uh, I mean, art is one of the primary things that, that people do on Twitch Creative. Uh, I know there are a lot of Quite a few musicians now and a few other things, but mostly, mostly what you see are are artists, especially digital artists, uh, though not all, by any means. Um, so, yeah, I've been watching a lot of artists, and I listen to them how they talk about art and how they talk about why they stream, and they and how they talk to their viewers who ask questions. And all that stuff and it, it really got me thinking you know like I'm writing a lot uh, I have tons of thoughts about the writing process that I've spent time developing I'm I am working towards becoming a professional just like many of the people on Twitch are working towards becoming professional artists and I thought for me, um, I really felt like I had something to say, and, and not that that people that I had something unique to say, but that this was a platform that not a lot of writers are using, and in a lot of ways, I wanted to give back to the community. I wanted to push myself. Um, I wanted to give myself, you know. Uh, on-screen deadlines and uh, give myself an audience to hold me accountable to that um, to learn by teaching to learn by doing on screen um, you know like improve to, to become a better writer and it's something that I'm going to discuss later uh, but recently I was reading this article by Isaac Asimov on creativity, and I'm going to come back to that because I think it's an important part of this episode. But um, Asimov talks about how creativity is kind of a embarrassing, um, embarrassing pastime, or not well, not pastime, but an embarrassing endeavor. How we don't we don't be creative in public and, and and it like people look at you funny when you're creative in public because you know you, you kind of have to be a little ridiculous a little bit foolish you, you, you got to challenge things and and that's not always an easy path to do uh, socially right and it's something that that has come across up in art streams a lot where, you know, people are like, oh, how did you get this good? Uh, how long have you been drawing? Like, all these questions. And um, a lot of it is about, you know, practice, right? And, and people, like, artists are, are, are afraid of showing those a thousand drawings they did that they sucked before getting to the one that was good. And... 
I was reading Asimov's article, and it really kind of struck me where he's right. It, it, in a lot of senses, you, you do have to be foolish. You have to ask ridiculous questions, and you, you have to do all these kind of things to be creative. But in a lot of ways, what this show allows me to do is it allows me to show, to show the audience those elements to show them that like it, it's it's okay to be ridiculous it's okay to fail and and all those things and you know those are the like failure is one of the most important parts of learning um and as, as i say this uh john Derek murphy joins my chat and uh he's one of the guys who talks about a lot of this stuff all, uh, all the time where you know artists Artists don't want you to see what they were like when they were learning. They want you to see what they're like now, and I and I get that. But but I think to to teach people, you have to show them those those things that that they don't see, those hours that they don't see. And uh, in a lot of ways, it's it's kind of interesting because as a film person, as a person who studied film, uh, there's never this idea of like. They did a lot of Lord of the Rings, but they didn't do it in a lot of other films where, you know, you don't see the heroes walking 10 days uh, to get between the two towns that they go to, right? Like, that doesn't happen a lot because it's not super interesting, but the end goal is. And in a lot of ways, that's what the practice is. It's like, it's like oh, I'm going to draw 10 sucky lines, and it's not going to be fun. It's not going to be interesting, but... It's that process, right? Like, I'm trying to show that process on this show. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to totally suck. Like, my drafts go from, like, super bad grammatical sentences uh, to much more polished. And, and I do a lot of iterations to fix a lot of those little, little, little small bits. And we're going to see that uh, as we get into the show. Uh, so, uh, on that note, um, the main thing that this show is about is starting a project and finishing it. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to be doing, um, is that, uh, I'm going to start out with a short story. Um, uh, I want to work my way up by doing a short story and then maybe a comic book uh, and then a novella and, and work my way up into longer and longer works and, and kind of see how far I can push this and how far I can, can demonstrate the process. Um, and it's going to be really, really, really hard. <laughs> but, um, but that's okay. Uh, that's, that's kind of the point. It's kind of the point. So, yeah. And, and uh, as Derek says, like Twitch can be that change in perspective by showing the process. And I'm going to come back to that idea a little bit later when I start talking about creativity, because uh, that's going to be the main part of this this show, the second the second hour. Uh, which, as you can see behind me there on my awesome dry erase wall, that today's topic is going to be creativity. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna come back to that, and I'm gonna talk about. Uh, Things like failing and things like um, pushing those boundaries and 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 all that stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take another approximately 20 minutes or so to kind of explain a little bit more of the little bits of the show, uh, some disclaimers and stuff, and then uh, we're gonna take a quick break. And uh, then get into the kind of the, the, the actual lesson portion of the show, which I'm super excited about and been talking about to people all day. And I think a lot of my friends are like, oh my God, like, who is this guy? But uh, it should be good. Uh, I'm excited. I'm really excited. So um, the shortest format is kind of going to be uh, three blocks, three main blocks. Uh, it's a little bit different today and it's probably going to be a little bit different next week. Um, because, uh, these two episodes are kind of going to be my very, 
my very big theoretical episodes, like big ideas, starting points, uh, until we get into the, the more practical, uh, nitty gritty stuff. Uh, so, yeah, uh, the format's gonna be a little different, but in, in the regular show, how I'm planning on doing it in episode three or so, uh, is there gonna be a first block, and the first block is gonna be about an hour, and it's gonna be the main sort of lesson of the day. It's gonna be, you know, what are we doing today? We're doing structure, we're doing character, uh, you know, uh, things, things that I think that the, the project needs uh, to, be, like, to be explained so that the project can be better. And also just things that, uh, you know, should, should be talked about at certain stages. Uh, so we're, <laughs> so we're, uh, we're, we're going to get to that. Uh, and then the second block is going to be like a very practical, like I'm going to have the writing software up. We're going to do a lot of writing. I'm going to talk about writing. I'm going to talk about my process as I write. Uh, I'm going to vocalize when I'm writing, uh, all that stuff. You can ask questions, give me suggestions. Uh, so it's going to be a lot of that. And then uh, the third block is going to be a, a little bit of like organizational stuff. Uh, probably a lot of editing is going to happen in that third block. And um, there's going to be a QA and a and there's going to be the Accidental Origin Book Club, which I'm going to talk about uh, kind of at the end of the show today. Uh, but And probably like almost every day I'm going to talk about it. Or every episode, I'm going to talk about uh, the accidental, the accidental book club, uh, but we're we're totally going to get there. And uh, <laughs> I, I do see you, Johnny. I'm, I'm kind of on a roll, and I don't like stopping because then I, I get distracted. Uh, but the vods will be up on YouTube, which is actually my next thing. Um, and I haven't shown this yet, but uh, I actually have like five pages of show notes for today, like all detailed outlines of like stuff I want to talk about. It. Uh, so the next, the next part is actually um, the website. So uh, accidentalorigin.com, and I'm gonna link it in the chat. And it just went live about two hours ago, uh, give or take. And uh, yeah, so there is a YouTube channel. I'm gonna have all of the, uh, all of the episodes uh, up on uh, YouTube. Uh, so people can watch them, and uh, there's going to be an embed embedded uh, video uh, on the, the homepage of the website, and it's going to have all of the resources uh, that I'm going to talk about throughout the show on it. So it's going to actually have a copy of the show notes, and it's going to have like uh, videos I use for research, articles I read, uh, the, the book club book, uh, all that stuff. It's, it's going to be up there so that people can, can see what I, what I read. Like what influenced me, um, and you know, it's kind of like it's kind of like homework, like you'd see in the class. And, and in a lot of ways, I, I am kind of taking inspiration from uh, what I've seen on uh, what what I've seen uh, at university and all that stuff. And uh, it, it is it is very much influenced by those things. And uh, yeah, so yeah, it's gonna be awesome. I I am going for the gusto uh, from day one, <laughs> as it were. I kind of have an idea of, of, of what level I want this show to, to operate at, and I think I'm pretty much there. So hopefully, hopefully it'll all just continue to, to work out. So yeah, uh, so last thing on this section, which um, I'm going to talk about. Uh, before I take a quick break. And uh, so, again, like I said, uh, the first two episodes are going to be very theoretical. We're going to talk about very whimsical, like, big ideas. And that's okay. And that's okay. Those are important things to talk about to lay a, a solid groundwork uh, before, before we get into the actual, like, writing. Um... And then the, uh, the second thing I want to mention is channel art is coming. Uh, Sam J. Fraser, who's in the chat right now, uh, he introduced me to an awesome graphic designer. And uh, he's got almost all my stuff ready. Uh, but I didn't want to go live without getting the final 
everything together with that stuff. So there's not going to be anything too fancy today and probably not next week because I kind of want to keep these theoretical ones a little bit different to set them apart. Uh, but going on sort of episode three, episode four, uh, we're going to see all that cool stuff and it is amazing. Uh, I've shown Sam a few, I've shown my two Sams uh, who are in the chat right now. Uh, there's going to be three eventually, but the two that are in there right now, uh, I've shown them the stuff and, and we all agree it's fucking fantastic. It's, it's super awesome. So, uh, yeah, uh, really excited about that. And, uh, third thing I just wanted to mention, uh, especially cause I am having a little bit of chat interaction at the moment is that, uh, it's going to take me a few episodes to really get a good feel for the format. Uh, and really get a good feel for how uh, what what really works on the stream. Uh, like I was talking about before, and this is something I had a conversation with Jonah Loeb about another Twitch streamer a while back, uh, where you know writing is a very internal process, uh, and a lot of it is time spent thinking and time spent uh, not not actually like doing stuff uh like there there there's a lot of aspects of just just working through problems kind of the same way that you see in programming and math and like all that stuff and i think uh as it as it happened like i'm pretty sure uh that i've got it kind of nailed down to my tests and stuff but um there's going to be a lot of that, like, getting used to it, getting, getting to see what techniques work, uh, and, and how's the, what's the best way to use my on-screen time uh, to, to get the, the, the most across and, and, and work on the most things, I guess. Volume, as it were. Um, so, yeah. Uh, that's all awesome stuff. Uh, so, yeah, don't be afraid. To give me feedback, um, I do have an email for the web show uh, on my website, uh, as well as uh, Twitch and um, Twitch messages, uh, Twitter, Discord. Leave comment in the YouTube channel. I'm gonna be looking at a lot of that stuff, uh, looking for feedback. So don't be afraid to just post. You know, uh, I do want to reach as many people as I can, and and I hope that that everyone can take a little bit of something from this. So, um, yeah, uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, my other camera, which you can actually see like right behind me there, that camera is not inverted. So, uh, when we get to that portion, you'll, you'll be able to actually see the, the cool stuff. Don't you worry. Uh, it will be awesome. So yeah, uh, thanks for all the comments about the website, guys. Uh, I have to admit that a lot of that stuff is just an awesome hosting provider who has sick-ass templates. Uh, I didn't do a lot of it myself, per se. Uh, but, you know, uh, I did play around with a few different formats, and, and the one I decided on, I think, is the best one for what I want to do. So, yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited. Things are promising. Things are promising. We're off to a good start, though I did I did kind of expect this portion to take a little bit longer, but that was also kind of to be expected. So um, I'm just going to open it up real quick to the floor. If anyone has any questions they want to ask me, I know there's not a ton of you here, but if there's any questions you want to ask uh, or something you missed that you want me to go over, just let me know. And uh, yeah, I'll give you a, I'll give you a couple minutes to to think that out and then we're gonna go take a quick five minute break or so so I can stretch and, and do a few things and then we'll get into the the meaty the meaty part <laughs> yeah totally into a story about inverted mirrors and websites uh, last uh, not last test stream but my fourth test stream because uh, I did five of them uh, my fourth test stream, uh, a couple of my friends actually started writing a fan fiction about DMX and 50 Cent and Space Marines in my chat, and it was pretty epic. So, yeah. Uh, 
Totally. I'm totally cool with that. Go nuts. Go nuts. In fact, if people start doing that on a regular basis, I might save all those and, and, and put some things on my website about it. Uh, so, yeah. Um, yeah. All right. So, yeah. Uh, I don't see any, any questions right now. So, I'm going to take a quick uh, five-minute break or so. And uh, then I'll be back. And we can have a big discussion about creativity. Which, which I actually spent almost a week researching and I hope is going to be kind of enlightening. Um, cliff notes, a lot of people say the same things in a lot of different ways. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. So, cool. Peace out. I'll see you in five.